First conceived in 1920s America, the motorcycle jacket is designed for the open road. Made of tough leather with an off-center zipper that creates a seal, this jacket is the ultimate windbreaker. It also protects the biker from scrapes and cuts in the event of a high-speed fall. The motorcycle jacket evolved from other wind-resistant garments like World War I aviator jackets and duster coats. Styles come and go, but the classic biker jacket has ruled the road for decades. They make it from heavy steer hide. A worker inspects the skins for flaws and selects the best. He also pairs up skins of similar hues and textures, so all the sections of the jacket will match up. He wipes oils from the hides with a piece of sheepskin, then stacks the hides in bundles of six to 10. It's now time to select a pattern. In this case, it's a men's medium. There are about 50 pieces in one motorcycle jacket pattern. Cutting the leather takes an experienced hand and a keen eye. The cutter works around any imperfections and chooses the stronger sections of the hide for the parts of the jacket that will be subject to the greatest wear. It's a skill that takes about two years to master. They punch out small components like pocket flaps and trim with a die, producing stacks of parts in one swoop. They call it clicking out the parts. These parts of the jacket don't vary in size, so different sized patterns aren't needed. The next worker lowers a hydraulic blade to cut pocket slits in several jacket front panels. This is called the pocket chop. Working from the reverse side of the panel, workers fold back the edges of the pocket slits and glue them down with strong industrial adhesive. They gently hammer the glued border to improve the adhesion. A few taps to both the back and the front of the pocket slit seals this job. A seamstress sews a zipper onto a pocket. Then she stitches the pocket into the panel slit. This is the right panel, and this side of the jacket gets three pockets. Biker jackets usually have lots of pockets because motorcycles don't have much storage capacity. She pieces together the rest of the leather shell. In the meantime, another crew rolls out quilted fabric for the liners. They align it with other pieces of the material that have been cut to length. They place a weight on one end and move to the other to cut the material to precisely the same length as the pieces underneath. Once they've accumulated numerous layers, they're ready for the pattern. This time, it's a big sheet of paper printed with the pattern markers. The pattern designs have been precisely configured on a computer to minimize fabric waste. Using sharp vertical blades, they cut along the pattern lines, slicing through the quilted stack. In a matter of minutes, they produce liner components for a couple dozen motorcycle jackets. In the sewing department, the seamstress pieces together the quilted lining and stitches on the label. She mates it to the now completed leather shell, sewing from the inside so the stitches won't be visible. With the job done and the off-center front zipper installed, the next worker turns the motorcycle jacket right side out. She pulls the seams of the jacket over a pointed metal rod. This gets rid of any puckers and rounds out the seams. Using a hydraulic device, another worker installs button-down snaps on the collar. This will keep it from flapping around and distracting the biker. A worker drives the prongs of a metal star into a piece of shoulder trim and bends them back. This and other metallic touches add a bit of flash to the jacket. Made famous on the big screen by Hollywood tough guys like Marlon Brando and James Dean decades ago, the motorcycle jacket is still riding a wave of popularity.